Perpetual Mommy here today to do another bag review for all of you. This is my fabulous brand new 12 little on the go backpack. And you guys, this thing arrived last night. And seriously, like last night, like 8.30 at night arrived. Ding dong. I was like, oh my gosh, what's here? And it was my bag. And I'm so excited. I packed it up right away and went to the grocery store with me today. I know it wasn't a big adventure, but I had to take it somewhere. So we went to the grocery store and you guys, I was amazed. I started packing it up and I couldn't believe it. The more I put in it, the more it was holding and it's not even stuck. And you guys, you know I love gray. Gray is one of my absolute favorite colors. It's my clothing color of choice. So when I saw the gray striped, I was just like in love with it. Absolutely in love with it. So like I always do, let's go ahead and talk about the outside of the bag first and then we'll go ahead and talk about the inside of the bag, how I have it packed up. So the outside of the bag here, you guys, is made of a PU coated polyester. So it is wipeable. You would not want to throw this in the washing machine, but you can spot clean it, wipe it down, and then hang it to dry. It will clean up really nice and easy. And then the bag is accented, you guys, in this gorgeous vegan leather trim, which looks so stunning against this gray and white stripe print loving it loving it now this is a dedicated backpack bag you do have a grab handle right here i adore my grab handles bags without a grab handle are just a no-go for me so you have this really nice sturdy grab handle and when you turn the bag around you have very nice padded backpack straps they are adjustable but one of my favorite features of this bag you guys is this zipper on the back so it's a nice pocket you can see i'm gonna put my hand down here at the bottom so you can see how nice and wide it is but it also has another zipper. I'm gonna leave that open. Let me see if I can lift this and show you the bag that's really full down here. And what you can do when you have a suitcase or you're traveling is you can put this over the handle of your suitcase while you're in an airport or you're headed to the train station. So you don't have to wear the bag if you don't want to. You can slip it over the handle of your suitcase. But when you're not using it like that, it is a nice zipper compartment, just a grab and go, catch all kind of pocket. So this is just such a great feature. I love that it's like the convertible travel pouch versus, you know, <laughs> travel slip. Just think it's so, so cool. And oh, and more bags, don't think of that. Now on each side of the bag, you do have insulated bottle pockets. These aren't stretchy, so they're a fixed size but they are insulated which is fantastic so if you don't have an insulated container you want to use a water bottle it will help keep that bottle nice and cool for you for an extended period of time now let's go ahead and jump on in to the inside of the bag and how i have it packed up now this is what i would call your mommy pocket now it doesn't have any internal organization it is one giant kind of zippered slip pocket and in here i just have some quick grab items i have a cerave nail ointment i have a pen from love by hannah and eli I have a lip oil and I have a coffee koozie by Bibbidi Bobbidi Bedina. And I believe that's all I have in this front pocket. And then there is a key leash. Now I did not put my keys in here. I don't typically attach my keys to the mommy pocket. I just kind of throw them in the interior of my bag. But there is a key leash there as well if you wanted to use it. Now in this bottle pocket I do have one full-sized kids fun container and then in the other bottle pocket i do have another kids fun container okay you guys this back zipper pocket is one of my absolute favorite features of this bag it is your padded laptop pocket or media pocket so if you're using this bag and you're not using it as a diaper bag you're using it as a work bag or a travel bag just for you or you're using it as a diaper bag but you're taking your electronic media with you it is so nice and padded i would feel so comfortable putting my laptop in here and the other benefit to having this be nice and padded right here is that when you're wearing it as a backpack it's really nice and comfortable against your back. I was actually really surprised how comfortable it was to wear because of the padding. I didn't realize how cushy it was until I went to wear it. So super excited about that. And in here, you guys, I do have my mini med kit. And then I also have the girls drawing supplies. So I try to keep arts and crafts supplies with us so that when we're out and about, they can do some, you know, kind of learning activities or just some, you know, artsy kind of developmental things. So in here I do have, each girl has the same thing. I have a sleeve that has stickers, some stickers and some colored twistable crayons. Oh, and look, a crayon made it in there that I'm gonna take out of there before it leaks in my pouch. It makes me very sad. So each girl has the same thing. So I have two pouches. No, I do pack, oh, I'm throwing it. I do pack for a two-year-old and a three-year-old. 
So I have some uh, stickers, some play pack cases, and then I always keep some uh, packets or some pads of blank white paper for free drawing. And that's all I had in there. But while we're back here, let's go ahead and take a look at the interior fabric of the bag. So the inside of the bag, the main compartment, also has the same fabric. This is a polyester fabric coated in water resistant uh, material. So it is wipeable, it is water resistant. And then if you take a close look here, their characters are the 12 Chinese zodiac signs. So you've got your dog, you've got your snake, you've got your dragon, all the uh, Chinese zodiac signs. So my husband and I are both dragons. I won't get into what my kids are, but it's a lot of fun and just a really, really neat, cute print. <laughs> Moving on to the inside of the bag. You have two nice zipper pulls. And what I want to mention here really quick, you guys, is that this zipper right here, if you guys can see, this one has metal teeth. See here, this is a metal tooth zipper where the zipper here on the mommy pocket and the zipper here on the back media pocket are both plastic zippers. So let's go ahead and open this up right here and you're gonna see that it opens very nice and wide and I have so much in here you guys and it's not even stuffed which is why stuff's falling forward as I do this so I'm gonna see if I can angle it back so you guys can see it a little bit better so right here sitting right on top you guys is a jujube large set piece in the secure swirl print and look how cute this print is with the 12 little striped print so gorgeous together. I think it's such a great pairing. But this is my diapering essentials. My D-pack for a two-year-old and a three-year-old. So this is for my two-year-old. I do have two pull-ups in here. I have a package of the Pampers Pure Wipes, as well as some seventh generation coconut wipes. Some disposable um, public toilet seat covers and an extra large disposable change pad. Then sitting right here, right on top as well, is a 12 little medium piece of the 12 little trio pouches. And this obviously matches, it's the same, it's the striped print. And this is an insulated food pouch. So the trio pouches obviously come with a set of three, a small, medium, and large. This is their medium piece. It is insulated, you guys. So this is a great food pouch. And in here I just have some quick things. I have a power crunch bar for me. I have some pistachio nuts, excuse me, some cashews. So late, I obviously have not had enough coffee. These are cashews. And what I wanted to tell you guys is I really like to normally carry uh, stuff in like an itsy ritzy um, mini snack bag, the reusable kind. But inside these kind of pouches or any insulated pouch, I don't like to do that because those reusable bags suck up all of my coldness, if that makes sense. So if I put an ice pack in here or I put a frozen applesauce in here, I feel like those reusable bags kind of suck up all the cold and then this stuff melts faster. So they're in a Ziploc baggie. And then I have two food pouches. Now normally in this kind of thing, what I like to do is freeze applesauce packets. So those kind of go-go squeeze applesauce packets, put them in the freezer, freeze them up, stick them in here. They work like an ice pack and are a slushy treat for the kids after a few hours. And then I just throw some cheese sticks in here as well. They stay nice and cold. I was gonna put some cheese sticks in here right now because we're done for the day. And these came with the Starbucks pack that we had and some yogurt raisins. So just whatever I wanna put in here to keep nice and cool. Um, it works great. This pouch keeps stuff cold for several hours. I've been using it for several months. Really, really like it. And it's really warm in California, which is why my Power Crunch bar goes in there because they melt really bad when they get warm at all. So I'll show you what the inside looks like now. So sitting right here at the bottom, I have that large piece from the Trio Pouch set. Now I did do a full review on the Trio Pouches by 12 Little. I will link it in the description below and at the end of the video for any of you who want to see a detailed comparison of the 12 Little Pouches against Jujube set pieces and the Kipling Creativity Pouches. So this is where I'm keeping a change of clothes for both my girls. I do have my Donatella coin purse and in here I keep a poppable hairbrush and then some extra hair elastics and hair clips. And then I keep uh, two spare sets of socks, one for each girl, and that one's coming unrolled. And then I have two full changes of clothes, if you can see that for the girls. I have a 5T five, a five set of clothes and a 4T set of clothes. It's underwear, full pants, and a full t-shirt. And there was room to spare in this pouch. And let me show you guys, again, look how cute the lining is. 12 Little does such a good job of just making the cutest interior linings. And they're nice and light colored, so you don't get that black hole syndrome where you can't see your stuff on the inside. So I don't have anything else in the large interior pocket sitting in the middle. Right here in this slip pocket, I do have the Jujube 
medium set piece. And in here, this is my restaurant essentials. And I do still have the plastic on here. You guys, I try to keep the plastic on my name plates, especially on my medium set pieces for as long as possible because these are the ones I slide in and out of kind of slip pockets all the time. So if you're wondering why that's still there. And in here, I do have a up and up container, toothbrush container full of straws. I have some table topper mats. I have a couple of the modern twist silicone bibs, more table topper mats, a couple disposable bibs, and some baby Gannick sand wipes. Now you also have a slip pocket right here, and in this slip pocket, I just have a little Hello Kitty pouch, and in here I have a baby sunscreen, tied to go pen, a baby fix it stick, and a baby bug stick. Now right here, you have a mesh pocket on the inside of the bag. This is not elasticized, it is a slip mesh pocket. And I have my Honest Company hand sanitizer. And then this is the small piece of the 12 little trio pouch set. And in here is my makeuping essentials. So I have some mommy makeup needs. And then this is a Donatella coin purse by Jujubee. And in here I have migraine medication, hair elastics, dental floss, uh, spare contacts, that kind of thing. But this pouch has so many goodies in it and still has lots and lots of room to spare. And I really like that I can see what's on the inside of this bag. Now the only other thing that we have to talk about here, you guys, is the zippered pocket on the back side. And in this zippered pocket, I do have my Jujubee small set piece in the Donatella Sweet Shot print. And in here, I just have my charging cable and my charging block. And the very last thing I have here in this pocket, you guys, is my Jujubee small set piece in the Secure Swirl print. And I'm using this as my wallet. So I do have two Jujubee Be Charged and an NCO coin purse for cash and coins. And that is it. So I'm going to give you guys a nice look on the inside of the bag now that it's empty. Super excited to carry this as a diaper bag, but also really excited to take this maybe just for me on my next work trip. So that's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.